Caitlin and Jazz Books. Hi guys, this is Jazz from Caitlin and Jazz Books. I'm not really sure what this video is going to be. I just woke up and I thought, I really want to make a video about my hair. So I guess that's what this is. I am planning to do a review of The Girl With All The Gifts by M.R. Carey um, for the next video. So this is just like a one-off. This isn't going to be like a regular thing. But you know when you just feel like you really, really need to do something and you just wake up and think, you know what, it's not going to be out of my head until I've done it. And all day I've been thinking, you should make a video about like why you cut your hair all the time and why you keep changing it and what are the problems that you have like when you cut your hair like, like this. I've cut my hair again by the way. So like, until the age of, I don't know, about nine, seven? I was really young. I had hair down to my waist. Wait, just give me a sec. Believe it or not, this is me, age seven. Look at all that hair. <laughs> then when I got to year four, I don't know how old I would have been. Yeah, when I was nine, I cut it to like a, it wasn't a bob because it didn't really curl inwards, but I cut it like jaw length, let's say. So it went from there to there and I was really fine with it because I never particularly liked having long hair because <laughs> it's gonna sound really pathetic, but I can't actually braid hair. I've just never been able to get the hang of like separating different parts of hair and then braiding it. I just used to hate it and at our school you had to have your hair tied up if you had long hair. So I'd have to get up really early every morning, my mum would plait my hair and I'd have so many knots and um, I'd have to wash it and it would take all day to dry and it would just pull and it would just be horrible and then it always came loose and just looked terrible so I never particularly liked having long hair. From there I used to like shave it on one side and let it grow really long on the other side um, and for a while that looked pretty cool until I made some pretty bad hair boo-boos and it just ended up looking cringeworthy but let's not go into that. Um, but it just kept getting shorter and shorter. I've had it like this before, but not in a while, I don't think. It's been a few months, but here it is again. <laughs> and I really like it. This is how I love my hair to be. This is my ideal length, because it feels so fuzzy, like you can just touch it, and it, it's just so good to like, just, and you, when you go swimming, your hair dries in five minutes. You don't have to dry it or anything. You just shake it, and then it just dries. And at the time that I used to get this cut, I wouldn't think, I was doing it for anybody else except myself. I would do it because I wanted short hair because I liked short hair on girls. And I think it looks awesome to me. Like, I don't care what anyone else thinks. This is what I like and this is me. But some people just don't get that. <laughs> I don't know why. I've always had some problems with having short hair as a girl. And I just thought... That was a car. I just went past. <laughs> and I just thought... Well, I've written them all down because there's been quite a few and I just wanted to structure this somewhat so I don't ramble on forever. But there are a few problems simply from cutting one's hair from that length to this. And I don't understand because I'm not a different person. I am the same person just with less hair. Why is that so hard to understand? Excuse me, excuse me. I don't want to be rude, but are you a girl? Or, or a boy? Am I a girl or a boy? <sighs> While this is a seemingly innocent question from four or five year olds, which has happened, and I understand, they may not understand at that point that girls can also have short hair, and that's fine. Just because someone has short hair does not mean that they are a boy. It may just mean that they just like having short hair. And I explain this to any kid who asks, because they need to know about this stuff. It's not just gonna go away if they see one girl with short hair. It's when it's adults, adults, that ask me if I am a boy or a girl, or automatically say, oh, hello, son, how are you? <laughs> Or, like not like that, but that has happened to me before. I don't know why. Like I didn't know this man, but the amount of times I've been mistaken for a boy is kind of comical. Just to list a few examples. There was a time when I was at school and I was changing in the girls' changing rooms, but everyone else had gone home because it was like after school clubs, um, and I was the only one left in the changing room. There was a rugby club also at our school, and their instructor came in to the girls' changing room 
And luckily I was dressed. Can you imagine if I wasn't? That'd be a bit awkward. But he came up to me. He was like, this is the hello son part. He was like, hello son. Do you know where I can find the men's bathroom? And I just looked at him and I just stared for a solid three seconds. And I was like, they'll be in the men's changing room, sir. And his face changed from in about half a second. And it was kind of funny, but I remember being really offended at the time. Um, and he just kind of backed away out of the changing room and presumably went to go find the men's bathroom. But I just thought that was really weird, seeing as I wear really heavy eyeliner like this, except I used to think it was really cool if I looked like freaking Cleopatra at school, so I don't really understand, you know? Other times include going into like women's changing rooms and all the little kids with their parents would be looking at me, sort of like, Mommy, why is there a boy in the girls changing rooms? And stuff like that. Like, or walking into a shop and they just don't know what to say because they don't know what you are. Uh, all that one time I went to get an ice cream and um, this guy was like, oh, hello lad, how are you? Like, oh, this is such a British stereotype. We don't all say son and lad and stuff. But I don't know why all my stories are really stereotypical, but he just called me son or lad or something or I come out of the girls bathroom and everyone just gives me a weird look like should you really be in the girls bathroom? stuff like that or it's like little kids um, I used to help out a lot at like primary school discos and do like the face painting and stuff because I'm okay at that um, but these kids would be like but you're a girl you can't that's a boy's haircut I don't understand and I would just you know you've got to explain to kids but it's just for me it's frustrating that they've already been conditioned to accept that girls must have long hair and boys have short hair. It really annoys me. I don't understand why we're still like teaching kids these stereotypes at such a young age, which will stay with them through their whole lives. You need to teach them that girls can have short hair, boys can have long hair. This is going to be a really angry video. And quite honestly, it does have an impact on your self-esteem. I mean, if you want to be addressed as a boy, that's fine. If you if you cut your hair short to be more masculine, that is fine. But if you are quite a feminine person like myself, and you still use feminine pronouns because you are a girl, it's just really, really annoying when people just, just assume that you're a boy. And it has an impact on your self-esteem because I would get called a boy maybe like two times a day, maybe? Um, when I used to not wear makeup and like I just felt like I had to be more feminine in other ways in order to like make up for it you can see now I'm wearing makeup those sort of things still impact me to this day like it really brings you down because you sort of lose your sense of femininity and it's not short hair can be feminine woo woo feminism and all that stuff but that's not what this video is about just about me liking short hair, why can't people understand? I got a haircut um, like this once, came into school, I did my makeup, like pretty much like this, except without the lipstick because I knew I would probably get like told off by someone. But I used to have like eyeliner, I did it really nice, and I would like put a bit of contour on and just walk into school and feel really good about myself because I was like, yeah, I'm rocking this new haircut. But there was still the underlying fear of needing makeup to feel girly if that makes sense. And this girl, she said to me, we all know you're just wearing makeup to hide the fact that you look like a boy and to make up for the fact that you don't look like a girl. <sighs> girl, let me tell you! People always assume that I'm a lesbian as well. <sighs> I mean, I say always, it's only happened like two or three times, but like, not all lesbians have short hair. Not all straight people have long hair. I don't, I don't get it. Can someone explain that concept for me? Please? I also, if you remember, if you've been following this channel, you'll know about a year ago, I dyed my hair blue. It was pretty much a year ago. It was in the summer holidays. Um, so it was probably later on in the year. It was like August, July time. Um, I dyed this part of my hair blue. You can see it in some of our videos from a year ago, obviously. And dyeing your hair also has an impact, like, on the people around you for some unknown reason. But like, 
I went to go see my nan, and I, I can laugh at this, I think this is hilarious, um, after I had my hair dyed, and my granddad was like, oh, my nan's name, don't you want to talk to Jasmine about her hair? And she just looked at me dead in the eyes and she was like, I don't want to talk about it, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> I find it so funny, it's because I had blue hair, she thought it was a bad life decision, and that's fine, if you don't like it, that's fine, <laughs> that's fine. I thought that was quite funny, not gonna lie. But the first reaction I got when I walked out of the hair salon, um, like I just had my hair dyed blue and I was like, oh I'm feeling pretty good, but I don't know how other people are gonna react, because I need sort of emotional validation in order to feel good, because I care about what other people say about, like, think about me and stuff. I'm just a very fragile person and I'm, I'm here to accept that. But this group of about three boys walked past and they just looked at me and they were very aware that I could hear them. And that's what annoys me, like, ugh. But they were just like, ugh, why would she want blue hair? That's, ugh, that's gross. I don't care about your opinion on my body. If you have an opinion about my hair, about me, that's fine. Everyone has opinions. You're entitled to your own damn opinion. But if you bikes but if you direct it at me in order to make me feel bad about myself and bring me down you're just a horrible person you know but what do you want me to say like just be yourself and don't care about what others say because at the end of the day it's still your body it's still your hair some people say oh but you look oh this is nothing about short hair actually oh but you look so much more girly with, with longer hair. I really think you look a bit more feminine with longer hair. And I, I just, I, I want to say this, but I can't. Then why don't you go to the hairdressers, get my hair, which they just cut off, and glue it back on? What do you want me to do? <laughs> it's okay to give me a compliment on my hair. Please do if you like it. I like to know that other people like it. But if you tell me how... I should do it and say why your opinion is better than mine on my own body that's when you cross the line simple as another incident which i found quite funny um it's the same guy you know earlier i was talking about when i was buying ice cream and he called me lad or something um it was the same guy um at this point i'd been swimming in the sea quite a lot so a lot of the blue dye had washed out in the salt water and i just had bleached hair pretty much with little blue bits what is it with all these motorbikes? But this man, he was like, oh, do you dye your hair with, with food dye? Ha ha ha. And I was like, I get it, I don't look great, but really, I don't want to make me feel bad about myself. Okay, before I start like really rambling, because I've seen how long this video is going to be, and I'm really sorry, I do apologise, but I just needed to get this out. If you like the way that you look, and you feel good about yourself, nothing else matters. If you want to go dye your hair, go dye your hair. If you want to cut it short or shave it all off, do it. If you want to get gauges or get a tattoo that you're scared of what other people will think, just do it because it's not their body, it's yours. And while it is frustrating when other people try and bring you down for doing what you want, it's not their life, it's yours, once again. So, be who you are, and tell people where to stick it if they try and confront you about it. There we go. That's all I had to say. That's really been resonating in my soul for the last 24 hours. I just wanted to let it out there. So please, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, because it's free. Um, I will try and upload a Go With All The Gifts um, review for the next video and someone will see you soon. Bye guys!